ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, and now screenplay writer, Daniel Songer. Hey guys, I'm back. You know what? I kind of wanted to do something different uh, for Comedy Act, Entertainment Act, and now Screenplay Act 201. 201. So there will be a 202. And the screenplay for 201 is titled Rumors Destroys. Vengeance Deploys by Daniel R. Songer. The world turns and another son is conceived. Throughout his development, all he hears is sports, sports, sports. Throw the ball, catch the ball, run, run, run. From the moment he is born, he is glued to the television. Football brings him so much excitement. When he grew to be a teenager, he learned of the salaries of football players and began to plan for a scholarship. The colleges caught his unique abilities and he quickly signed on and emerged in a university. His hobby and his passion was chemistry so he applied his vision to chemical engineering. He excelled in football and became a university star. Keeping his dream alive in chemistry, the awards flowed along with his brilliance. He pursued new chemical designs to lift mankind from this earth and travel throughout the galaxy. This force of intelligence led the passage to future technology. The university encouraged him. The football team inspired him. So he went on to receive his doctorate and became a professor of chemical space technology. Years had passed and now he finds a student using the chemical laboratory for illegal activity. The student was making methamphetamine. The student was arrested and convicted. Ten years had passed and suddenly the police arrest the professor for making methamphetamine. The police received a tip and found all the materials in his laboratory and charged him with making and distributing methamphetamine. The student that the professor had arrested for this same crime retaliated against him and framed the professor. The rumors of this quickly spread throughout the university and community. The professor was indicted convicted and sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. The professor had lost his home, his wife, and his stature. 10 years passed, and when he is released, he finds that his wife is terminally ill and needs a new heart. While the professor was in prison, he kept a watchful eye on the student who framed him. The student became recognized throughout the community as a self-made millionaire tyrant. The professor could only think that the student is making millions through processing and distributing methamphetamine. When the professor was released, he was an outcast and rejected by everyone. He had no money to purchase a new heart for his wife so he devised a plan to kidnap the tyrant's wife and hold her for ransom for a million dollars and gain restitution of his name. For ten years, the professor cried, Vengeance is mine! The professor wanted to move forward and forgive and forget, 
But now that his wife was dying, he sought revenge. The professor then kidnapped the tyrant's wife and stated his demands to the tyrant. He had put the, the conversation on speakerphone so that the tyrant's wife could hear everything. The tyrant said he was not going to pay anything and replied, Kill the bitch! The professor was appalled by the tyrant's actions and decided to let the tyrant's wife go. The professor told the tyrant's wife the whole story on how her husband was arrested and convicted of making methamphetamine at his university laboratory. And ten years later, the tyrant retaliated and framed him for the same crime. The professor told the woman how sorry he was, but he needed the money to pay for a new heart for his wife and to clear his name. The professor told her she is free and to do whatever she feels is right. The woman returned home to the tyrant and he replied, Honey, I thought you were kidnapped. She stated, No, I am fine. Someone must be messing with you. A year had passed and the professor could not save his wife and she passed on. He then went to a bar to drink away his sorrows. Suddenly he was approached by the tyrant's wife. She told him that she had been spying on her husband and watched his activity very closely since the kidnapping. She told the professor that her husband is a methamphetamine dealer and that she wanted to help him destroy her husband. The professor and the tyrant's wife met daily at a hotel and made love and planned their revenge. The tyrant had several million dollars in a safe deposit box and his wife had access. She then confiscated the seven million dollars and met the professor at the airport. The tyrant's wife notified the Drug Enforcement Agency of her husband's laboratory of making and distributing methamphetamine. And then the professor, his new love, and seven million dollars left the country never to be seen again. The end, writer Daniel R. Songer, screenplay writer, my first screenplay for my fans of the world. Thank you.